So my favourite memory has got to be the accident scene that we shot. Um, it was the first day of shooting, it was the most complex scene, um, it was the most ambitious to pull off and I think the shoot just went smoothly after that and, it, and every other setup was pretty much very simple you know, compared to that. Um, so that's my favourite experience really, it's just I was all hyped up and everyone was there, everyone was doing their job and like it was looking great, we were like, looking at the monitor and after we'd done that, that gave a lot of confidence to everyone involved in the project, the cast, the crew, and especially for me, because I really felt that as a test. I wanted that to be on the first day because I didn't want to be worrying about it throughout the rest of the shoot, you know, doing these other scenes whilst at the back of my mind thinking we've got this massive scene to get it done. So I wanted it to be first um, for that reason, and also like test and pushed me, because if I couldn't achieve that, you know, successfully, then uh, then that was a real telltale sign for me whether I should actually be doing this or not. <laughs> so I think a bunch of people that walked by were like thinking, oh my God, what's going on? We had all this crowd gathering around, you know, trying to figure out what's going on. Police guards and ambulances and paramedics, and we had a lot of bustling because the, it had to look very real. I can't even believe they pulled it off. We had this huge jib that, you know, uh, it started, started, starts in Scotland and starts spinning around. And you actually had a good, really good feel of uh, what's going on in the background. You know, you have the police trying to contain the crowd, and you know how it is. Whenever you have an accident, you know people, dear, everybody wants to know: is it real blood? Is it, you know? Um, the best thing that happened to me, I think, was afterwards when the paramedics, when the paramedics came to me and said, "Wow, this was, it was, that was really good." They actually, the paramedics told me that they actually felt like that was happen for real, that they were actually assisting a real accident. Like I said, I think the environment really contributed to the real, realism of the scene. Uh, we had um, the wife and child, you know, characters completely, looked completely dead, and one of them had a, a, a neck brace. Uh, it, it, was, it was just really, really gruesome in a way, um, and tragic. So I feel, I feel like the fact that everything looked so realistic made it a lot easier for all of us to sort of have our characters come to life, you know, naturally. It was very impressive. That scene is very impressive. When we actually got on set for the accident scene, and I remember walking out of my car, and I just stood there, and I looked around, and I could not believe what I saw. I mean, that was exactly what Jay wanted. And then when he told me two weeks earlier, no, it was more like two months earlier, I looked at him and I said, are you freaking nuts? Like, this is an independent film. Like, how the hell are we going to do that? And one thing that I do have to give a lot of credit to Jay is he stuck with his vision and he okay, go did whatever he could. You know, it was almost like this determination, like, I don't care what I need to do, but this is what I have in mind and it's going to happen. And not a lot of people, and I'm talking actors, directors, producers, have that kind of courage, especially when, like I said, when you don't really have all the money in the world to do that. And somehow it happened. And I, I'm not saying that Jay alone made that scene happen. A lot of people um, volunteered their time and expertise to make it happen. But the accident scene was definitely another defining moment for me. When, when I saw it, actually, I, I was completely like taken aback. I think that it really posed that horrible feeling of dread of what such a tragedy can bring in your life and how it can change you. So that was magnificent. <laughs> that scene was incredible. But I had to be in character for, I, I don't know, a couple hours. <laughs> we did makeup and, you know, we had to have bruises and cuts and everything. It looks great. You look dead. Oh, Rodrigo. I know, dude. This is great. We had a bunch of paramedics come over and help us with the, uh, Actually, the way the bruises were, you know, the, based on how the car looked like and how it had been hit, it's very realistic. It doesn't hurt, but it's kind of like sure. weird. And what would you do? <laughs> Stage. That was also filmed continuously in one shot, which was amazing. I, I actually felt, I started feeling myself you know, in that dread. I actually could feel like Scott's despair, the sheer shock of what's going to happen to me now. What am I going to do? So I feel like this, that scene really conveys really well. And it's very important because it's the first thing you see in the movie. And right away, it gives you a very good idea of what's to come. 